Hey guys, good morning from Bali. Good morning. Good morning. It is 8.30 on a Thursday morning here at home. We're just gonna take you through a little bit of a day in the life. We uh, have a bunch of work to get done today and hopefully hoping to catch some surf at some point. We just went for a beach run this morning and I gotta quickly jump in the shower and then get on a nine o'clock community call on the computer. So yeah, that's what I'm about to get into. And my day, yeah, it was beautiful down the beach going for a run and I've got to post some stock to Adelaide, um, grab a coffee, get some breakfast. Um, we're gonna go to this place and bodyboard. There's n usually never want anyone surfing this place. So Miller and I are gonna go out. We're just waiting for the tide to come a bit <laughs> fuller, fill up it's a little bit more. And then we're gonna go and bodyboard this spot and then from there, you've got to work. Um, I'm going to work on a song, so I'm going to show everyone the intricacies of like make developing a song just quickly. And that's it. That's it. All right. And that's it. Let's do it. So we live in a gang. So this this street comes off the main road and it's like a laneway but in Indonesia we call them gangs um, and the coffee shop is just around the corner Rocky seems to already be across the road looking for food he's crazy um, the dogs are because we found the dogs on the street they're pretty well street trained and and have acquired road rules uh, over time So here we are at our local coffee spot. If any of you come over and you bring your, your cash with you. Got a money exchange here. So this is the, um, so I'll go into more explaining what you can get for your dollar. So if you rock up here with USD, you get 14,025. Don't worry about the 25, but about 14,000 rupiah. So, if you work that out, you could get that the local place that so we showed the food, the Nasi Champur, it's a selection of food, rice and, and etc. You could you could probably you could feed yourself off a dollar USD in that restaurant. Hey again, good morning. Okay, so I just finished our team community call, which we, myself and my network marketing organization, uh, we host a live mastermind call every single week where we all come together live from around the world, meet, brainstorm, share ideas, learn about certain sales and marketing topics. So we just finished the call and I just whipped up a fruit salad and got a late shower in. And I'm just gonna, um, yeah, get to work. I wanted to show you guys um, kind of what life looks like working from home as an entrepreneur and business owner for me. So here's kind of what I do. So every night before I go to bed, I'm such a list person. I make my list of intentions for the next day. And this can include anything from all of my work obligations, I don't like that word, work projects and responsibilities to personal um, goals or like projects that I wanna get done. So I'll include, um, yeah, a little bit of everything. So every morning I wake up, set intentions for the day. I'll always listen to some teachings by Abraham Hicks or Joe Dispenza. Uh, I wanted to go on a beach run, so we did that. Hormone tests, things like I needed to get done this morning. I always write down and take my supplements and just, yeah, important things that I don't want to forget. And then I also include all of my call times for the day. So what time the call is, who I'm meeting with. Um, usually we use Google Calendar, so all the links for the Zoom calls are already in there. And yeah, just little bits and pieces that I don't want to forget that I need to do for uh, my work day. When it comes to actual working with my team members for our business, we will use Trello or Monday.com. So we'll have um, kind of a shared get to do list all together. We keep everything organized. We can keep track of our progress, what we're working on. Yeah, it just totally helps me to stay organized so I don't forget about things. And the most satisfying thing is to be able to tick off all of my boxes in the morning as I go. Just did the community call, paid an invoice while I was on it. And yeah, I'm gonna get ready for some calls I have this afternoon. I'm in super work drive currently because I'm launching a new business in April in literally just 
like two weeks. So yeah, really excited to get to work and thanks for being here to check it out. So this is a little workstation that I have set up musically and we can make all the music for YouTube and put sound effects in and everything like that and, and give them to Kerry and he puts them all together in the videos. So um, yeah, take a look. So if I isolate that kick. If you're watching this right now, say a prayer for me. Past, future, and present. My, my, for my body and my neck and my shoulders, right? Hopefully it's good and we've been waiting for the tide, but it's full, sunny, straight in the middle of the afternoon. So we're not gonna stay out for long because it's just gonna get fried, but. Just taking a quick <clears throat> one hour work break between calls. We're gonna go bodyboard. I'm very beginner. I just wanna do a very clear disclaimer of that. So he's trying to teach me. Let's go and get this over with. Hopefully we're like in the barrel, so the barrel shades us from the sun. Oh, yeah. Or you'll be under the water, I'll be in the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I, should wear, I should wear this out on the surf, truly. <laughs> okay, let's go, we'll take you to Matt's favorite spot. So it's looking, I think the tide's a bit too low and the wind's on a little bit, so we might drop in some footage of when we surfed yesterday. Although there are some sets coming in now, so we just got to uh, just got to see what these what this does. But yeah, this is where we usually surf. No one surfs or no one bodyboards here. Um, Thank you, angels, for hearing my my beckoning call. She got out of it. But oh, maybe here. All right, this is literally. The battle wounds from yesterday's session. This is how we do it. Always use protection, kids. So we've decided to uh, tackle the shore break. There's uh, the tides coming in, so I should be all right. Amelia's second day after I think what is it, three years of being of not being in the not bodyboarding. So I'm probably like, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll put some footage together and hopefully um, it all goes smoothly. Roll, mate. Now I'm just going to go to the local fruit and veg shop, uh, take you guys along and come and check it out. Uh, prices are super cheap, I think you can get a big bunch of spinach for about 20 cents. So come and have a look, come and I'll take you up there and we can uh, we can check it out. Emilia's going to do some work, it's my job in the afternoon to prep food and get vegetables and fruit and, and um, source everything for dinner. So come with us. So this is the fruit side. So there's two sides. There's the fruit and veggie side. You can uh, you can get these dragon fruits. They're about twenty thousand. Uh, twenty thousand to two dollars a kilo. So that's crazy.
today again. I am just, let's see, just getting out of a few hour workflow. I had a um, Zoom call for about two and a half hours with my two business partners. And yeah, we just basically are working on website development and creating um, all the scripts for the video courses that we're gonna be offering on Networthy. And we had to look over a contract that we're signing with a software company that we're partnering with. And yeah, a whole lot of other bits and pieces, but really productive um, afternoon session after that ridiculous surf that I had. It is 4.44 p.m. Oh my goodness, my favorite numbers. And we have our favorite masseuse, like a very deep tissue healing massage um, with Dewey coming at five in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna wrap up final emails for the day. Um, and then I do actually have another call at 7 p.m. tonight. Take a break, do a massage, do a little self-care routine, and then um, get ready for another, another round of calls at seven tonight. Okay, that's it. So we've just gone home and we've got all of the bits and pieces that we collected from the from the vegetable shop. Uh, we've got passion fruit and a red cabbage, kind of random things, spinach leaves, a lot of turmeric, so I'm making a jamu, like an orange, it's like a medicine here, jamu, uh, temp, turmeric and orange juice. But I'm gonna make an Asian salad with a, with a peanut dressing and uh, as I was going through this morning with the different rates, when you change a dollar US, so a dollar US was 14,000 rupee. We picked this whole lot up for around 80,000 rupee, so around $5, around $6 USD for this abundance of, of goodness. Hello. Salamat Sore. I'm about to get a massage. I'm so excited. Dewey comes to the house herself and massages us on our bed, which is amazing. Don't have to go anywhere. Put some peppermint oil in the diffuser. We've got some candles lit. I'm gonna put on some healing frequencies and I'm gonna just literally melt into this massage, although they're usually quite painful, but I think I'm in need of some serious deep rubbing. So let's go enjoy this tranquil massage experience. So I'm just going to put a sauce together, it will be in the description below. It's just going to be peanut butter, it's going to be like an Asian-y peanut butter, uh, garlic, coriander, chili, sriracha, and that's it. And then I'm going to mix it in and with the red cabbage and the and the uh, spinach leaves and you guys will see what, I'll, what I'm going to come up with. And this is the uh, the delicious peanut butter. Uh, it's peanut butter and soy and garlic and ginger, lemon juice, uh, just all like fresh barley things that we can buy from the shop here. All natural. The the peanut butter's from here as well. So I'm just gonna stick this on top. Give you guys a look. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge. It needs to cool down. The noodles and everything need to cool down and everything just because it's been straight from the market. It's not cold yet. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge. And, uh, and serve it up in about an hour, two hours time.
Good evening. Good evening. It is 8 p.m. We're eating a late dinner. I just got off my call. I'm so excited. This looks amazing. Raw onion. Wow. Let's do it. We've been waiting to stir this up for a while now. What do you want the people to know about it? You chill it in the fridge, you said? So yeah, it's been chilled for about two hours, I think. About two hours in the fridge. I think so. Noodles are cold. I poured the peanut sauce on top and yeah, just mix it through. Get Try to get all the sauce on everything. Ooh. Some marinated tofu is in there. Dinner it tastes incredible. It is so good. Hit hit the spot, absolutely. <laughs> We're just sitting in the garden enjoying a peaceful night. It's super beautiful out and the rain stopped. Yeah, we're just gonna relax, eat this food, hang with the animals a bit, go to bed, do our nighttime routine, and the best part of the day is going through my checklist, checking everything off that I completed today, and then whatever I didn't complete, moving it on to tomorrow. We usually do that together to talk about what we're planned for the next planning for the next day. That's Surf it. The shore again. Surf the shore. Oh, that massage was brutal. I was like in agonizing pain actually. Hmm. Who am I to think that it was gonna be a relaxing and tranquil experience? It's never relaxing when Dewey does them. Mm -mm. She definitely does some deep work though. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here. We hope you enjoyed this day in life. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you and We'll put this recipe for this uh, this delicious salad in the uh, in the description below. Yeah, thanks so much. Let us know. Yeah, if anything resonated with you guys or this video was insightful in any way, we really appreciate all the comments and everyone who subscribes and watches. And we'll see you in the next video next week. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye.